Fighter bombers coming in, machine uh, straight from the airfield. I would sign an alarm, and I turn them loose to track track the uh, the plane. I wouldn't get so involved. So that's what we're gonna do now. Plugs all the time, and they couldn't hear half the things afterwards because it's a pretty loud being all day long with that. That's what they that's what they dealt with. They also had a lot of the younger kids loading, manning the weapons, especially late war. You see these guys like Boy Scouts, but they were there, and they got blown up on the guns too. But they would also help load and feed the gun. That was one of the most labor-intensive jobs: carrying the rounds and feeding it. It took a lot of rounds. Uh, again, this is a 19. 39 model. It's a, uh, a flak 39, 37 millimeter. It's an early war, pre-war construction. There were, a lot of these were sent to Hungary, Romania. They were exported to different companies by Germany. Very accurate weapon. It's a low range to mid range weapon. Fighter bombers, fighters, things coming down low. It would protect airfields, bunkers. It would protect the infantry. It was just shooting anything down that's trying to get to them. It didn't hit bombers. It wouldn't go that high. You see the same weapon on U-boats, same gun, 37 millimeters. So with a gun, we use in many different carriages, many different track, half-tracks, the trucks, the, uh, all different configurations. 